Linda Trace. I'm a design team member for Some Odd Girl and I'm here today to show you how to create a fun Easter themed uh, lamp or how to decorate one. So first of all you want to take a plain white kind of canvas um, lampshade. Um, you can see I've got a few inks on the inside of the lampshade and that's just to keep it sturdy for when I want to stamp on it. Um, you could use several different kinds of material with the lampshade but I just picked one that's more of a canvas sort of feel so that it was still stamped fairly cleanly but at the same time still look like fabric rather than you know it, it looking like paper. So I'm starting off with stamping the grass from Gwen in Bloom and you can see I'm not being super precise with it. This helps the grass to look a lot more natural. Um, and much more layered, you know, like it's it's not just a single line of grass hovering there. And now I'm taking the really cute uh, main image from the uh, Bunny Girl Gwen stamp set. There's Gwen holding her enormous carrot, um, and you can see I'm just checking that the, the 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 ink pads I've got on the inside are in the dead centre, which is where I want to stamp Gwen. Um, and you really just stamp it the same way you would on paper or cardstock. You just have to be careful when you're stamping on the sides or the sort of on the edges where the where the fold is. Um, and I rocked the stamp a little bit just to make sure that it really pressed in. And you can see it, does, it leaves a pretty clean image for, for the most part. Um, now I'm stamping the little Easter basket from Hip Hop Hooray and. Now I'm moving on to the tulips that are also from the Gwen in Bloom stamp set. And basically I'm just going along building a scene using stamps from each of those three sets. And now I want to work on the next um, face of the lamp. So I'm just shifting my ink pads inside around so that I can get a nice sturdy surface to stamp on. Now I'm taking the little standing up waving super cute bunny guy from Hip Hop Hooray which was just released not too long ago gorgeous stamp set and I'm adding some tulips next to him and you can see the one on the right didn't quite stamp very cleanly so I just went back and re-stamped it now I've taken a couple of the clouds out of the Umbrella Gwen stamp set and you can see I'm layering some of them so that it looks like the bigger clouds in front of the smaller one and I'm stamping some onto the corner and you can see with that one I actually just used my hand to stamp it like I put my hand on the inside of the lampshade because the clouds such a small image and it's up close to the top it's quite easy to do a clean stamped image and you can see I'm only kind of inking parts of the stamp up so that it, I can do that layering it's much easier than masking and now onto the Copic colouring. Um, all of the Copic colours are down the bottom of the screen as well as I've tried to sit the lid off to the left. I'm not going to show you every single little thing I've coloured in because I did all of the bunnies in a similar way and there's no need to repeat myself. <laughs> I'm just adding some shading because I want the bunny to be white essentially so I'm just adding some shadowing in, some shadow effects in using the um, C coloured Copic markers, C3, C5, C9, C7 um, and you can see here because I've zoomed in it bleeds quite a lot um, so this is not a really super mm, technical and super specific kind of colouring you know you have to be aware of the fact that it's a little bit like watercolour you will get a little bit of bleed you will get a little bit of smudginess to it but in the end it looks really good and it's surprisingly forgiving actually you can cover up mistakes I'm sorry about this flashing my camera was having a fit about my lamp <laughs> and I kept moving to try and get a better angle for you without the flashing so now I'm stamping the bunny girl Gwen and I'm just I thought it'd be fun for her to have darker ears because she's going to have dark hair and I'm just gonna move around stamping the enormous carrot and her hair not stamping coloring and you can see normally when you do Copic colouring you would do a lot more thorough blending and you'd use a lot more colours and but you can see it bleeds into each other so you really don't have to be too you don't have to overwork it a lot um, and I've just done her skin and her eyes here and next I'm going to move on to her cute little tutu skirt um, and I'm just using some of the BVs and I went in really close so you can see I'm not actually 
swiping the marker around I'm actually dabbing it on on the shirt because the red is so pigmented and it it does bleed a teeny bit more than the other colors um, tapping can sometimes be a bit better and now I'm just filling in the sky um, the one tip I've got for doing the sky because it's such a big image it doesn't blend the strokes each pen stroke doesn't blend as well as it would on normal Copic marker type paper so my best tip would be to outline the images all first do a little outline of your clouds outline your carrot new girl and all that sort of thing and then just go up and down and up and down like you're painting a wall um, you'll get a lot more of a smooth finish and here you can see the finished lamps the one on the left just doesn't isn't, isn't sitting on the base um, and you can see all four sides and you can see the one on the left was done earlier several weeks ago and it, it is blended in a lot more especially around the sky the one on the right I'd only just finished before taking this photo so it still needs to sort of settle in and smooth out and here's what the lights look like